Hello everyone, it's me, Blader Dragonzon, back again with another round of the BDS as Mono Plus A Formula 1 World Championship. And this time it's time for the Canadian Grand Prix Round 7. This is what the top 5 in the championship looks like right now. So let's head into the race at Montreal. And at the starting grid, you can tell this is the wettest race of the season. It's just on one of the top of the high, uh, beside him. Then comes Chimran, Zahas, Daniel, and Ayan. Then comes Alex, Ruben, then Jin, Simeon, Jack, Charlie, Danny, Ryland, Gregory, Callum, Anna, Kira, David. Joy, Rashad, I think Stevens in last place the final turn. For all you can see, you have doing a split strategy in Canada then, putting one of their drivers on Ace and Adam. Alright, so TJ going towards uh, a youth fourth win of the season. All five lights go on. Lights out, and away we go. And AJ's going off to a pretty good start then uh, in the wet conditions, getting quite a ways away from the other and I'm ready to go. He's found a line to try and take through the first game and he does take it to get up into the lead of this Canadian Grand Prix. Just lead, did you say? And Zaz diving around with that lead. Uh, Mercedes fourth second already. He's Jacob Stevens has made up six positions before we've even fought easy to made it second to a one. And AJ just is defending with all his might over that second place and Daniel's kind of um, getting up into that podium position as well. And McLaren increasing the chrome effect on that car and meanwhile Amber and Andretti seemingly lowering it and Jacob Stevens finds himself up in 13th place. This guy's been making multiple moves. He is the super mover of the entire grid. On board with him, Joe Gibbs is up giving him and straight like speed when it comes to grip. Like nothing else, he doesn't need an easy RM. Trying to go down the inside of the dive bomb attack from Ruben to find himself up into 11th place. Lap 2 of 24 then. Josh leads, Uchi second, and Uche coming through turn 2 then down the inside to retake the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix. Jack that's not exactly his strong suit, but he's not bad at either. This was a rate that he was And yeah, he's gone fastest through the first sector. And as you can see, found himself in third place. And Chimera just behind. And, and who's that trying to go for a dive bomb attempt? That Daniel. And once again, I'm thinking of maybe a no take there. A bit better. He goes down the inside on a yard. And Chimera as well. Always taking both of them into the wall. Well, that was very, well, that was very much always great to hear and see this is now just that better point. Uh, we saw Daniel at a guard fighting over position there, but we're on for Jack. And, and now I'll pull with uh, Jacob Stevens. Let's see if he can grab it and earth take the future now. We've got to fight back to Rob Reed. We are dropping at 8.866. And no one seems to have gotten that so far. And yeah, Yard goes down the inside of that McLaren. And through a turn of uh, two. And now coming through the floor. That section of that that future now. He's getting that first to the center of anyone. This has been a very clean start for the Canadian Grand Prix. The one you, the yellow flag, and the safety car graphics I've heard. But at this rate, I don't think we'll need to serve them. Josh now resetting that box to second sector of anyone. Only by 16 tenths of a second. I'm sorry, hundreds of a second. A second. Uh, meanwhile, further back, Chimo has gone down to P8, but getting ahead of Jim now to find himself up to P7. That has a really good opportunity there. Uh, looking at the mini map, uh, John is coming through that chicane, and Uche now goes faster, a 1 minute 8.216. I'm going to Jim Stevens, he's in turn 3, can he get past the red ball? 
I'm sorry, we want up to F8. E, uh, Kimura, Jin, and maybe even Alex are in many positions. Oh, that was very close between the two cars. They almost stopped as well. But Tika Seed is trying to find a way to go around the outside. Now down inside on the red wall. And he's just not made it there. He's struggling on corner exit. Let's see. Maybe. Let's go on again. Joshua now setting the fast the second sector of anyone. Look what we said. It does seem to be pretty hard at all. Jack died bombing! Uh, Jacob Stevens, I was gonna say it's pretty hard to put a uh, temperature into a wet tie. We want way easier to do it with the inserts. Yeah, this one might even be, it might even be overheating. Alright, left five is 24, which I need, strong second, and uh, Zaha is spare. As it has been since last two, I'm not bored with the yard. He's got the McLaren of Daniel on his tail. The McLaren in this season has been pretty good and all other just okay on average when it comes to race pace. He's currently running fifth and tenth. If this happened last season, I would have had, I would have had my uh, pants and express, I guess. What I'm not going to say. Josh Brown, once again, going fastest in the second sector. He always seems to go towards the way to my quick too. But once we got this main straight, with no DRM, speed disadvantage he's at is sharp. I think of that. He's trying to close in, and that might be because he chased one kick. Jack. Ooh, he's trying 
to his name and to cause a collision. I think we found it. No, we haven't. Time's going to take a bit of damage and everyone's going to get some pits on the spot for intermediate tires. I think Jacob Stevens might actually come out of this ahead. Drivers are actually coming in for drives as well. Uh, that's, the, that's the force India guy is coming in to drive tires. Uh, the red bull of Charlie goes away for drive. Uh, seems like a bump five cars on the grid. Actually, no, that's P8 down. They've all come in for drive tires. Okay, so that's going to have the big shake of Jacob Stevens now in the fight for the lead of this Grand Prix on board with that Ferrari. He's in P2. Uh, Daniel, uh, yeah, Daniel, P13. And he's on. Intermediate tires as well, 22 seconds off the lead of this race. And would it be a shock to say that I think that the lead might change hands here? Because there are drivers who have come into the pits for, for instance, and drives. It does seem to have stopped raining and there is no more spray as Utrecht is on the main street. We are going to have DRS in the next few laps, but it's not even going to matter because it's the drivers in 17, 13, and first down to 9. The last back into the pit on this lap for new dry tyres. We're going to go on board with Charlie then. He's the lead dry tyre runner. Callum says the fastest second sector of anyone. Just going to make sure that uh, Jack is not running on the drive. He is not. Uh, Josh, he stayed out. Now he's coming in now. So we're going to go on board with Charlie. Staying on board with him. We're going to see. Does he stay out ahead of the Mercedes of Uche? Gonna be close on the exit, but on lap 11 of 24, the lead has changed hands, but not in, but not to the hands of Red Bull, to the hands of Amblin Andretti. Josh leads the Canadian Grand Prix. Jacob Stevens second, and Uche is third. Then comes Charlie David and Ruben. Then a young Riley Starr and Chimera. I'm full with that. Thank you for saying that now we're going to find some of the game into the pits. And we did come into the pits for the pits. And yeah, and they are going to have quite a bit of tire wear come races end. But right now, I think Ferrari have a race winning shot on their hands. And Jacob Stevens could get himself his second win of the season and into his entire career. But we'll see, because Red Bull Wolf with Uche coming into the final chicane at the wall of champions. Look ahead of you, you've still got oh, Joshua leading. So if Uche wants to regain the lead of this Grand Prix at half distance now, he's going to have to clear that Ferrari ahead of him. Charlie's getting the fastest 
flat as well. A one minute four point eight eight three. Now Chip has been in the third sector of anyone. And down the inside goes AJM. We've got yellow flag in the third sector. And Johnny now we set about fast as well with Rob Reed. And I think no, I think it might be. Well, Jack, it is for Jack, EJ said to have boxed its third sector of anyone. But yeah, you've seen the new graphics, but not as intrusive anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, graphics display, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that was for the Renaissance. Yeah, it was. Uh, meanwhile, J uh, UJ is closing in quite a bit of the album and drink off shot. Not bad to go around the missile tank. He's a bit big and big eat. He's trying to close in. He is closing in. Seven things back. That's going to close into about five steps by the chicane. <laughs> and drop the top. Wait, this is your top one for Josh Leeds, UJ second. And you can see yourself, you are looking to the front of the back at 1 minute 4.33. About 4 tenths of a second faster than the last one. Uh, Jim now is saying that as he gets ahead of the red ball from Callum. He's got himself in 5 different time miles in the front collision. All of it is still left. We do see a lot of drifting through that final turn, which ends up in someone hitting the wall. Uh, I think that might be what's to Jack, but most of the time it's both a spin, not just a simple boot hit the top of the wall here. And we might see a broad GP civil war down the inside, go to Zaz on Ruben, and up into 720 rows. So that's the broad swapping positions now, as they come into the hairpin. I guess you can call it the penultimate turn of the Grand Prix, but it's uh, of the line, it really isn't. Meanwhile, coming into the penultimate turn, the penultimate final turn of this race, which won the ball with Ute driving past uh, Josh, the Amber and Red Star, and... Oh! That's Charlie into the wall! Yellow flag in the third sector! He got past Premium Stevens, and a moment that we didn't see, but he all has ran himself out of world and out of the Grand Prix. Must be real, it was only a little wall back, but it did force the yellow flag down. But my oh my, was that a scary moment for a red bull? Oh, we've got some radio. <laughs> Sorry guys. I guess I, I, I guess I might have scared you guys a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, worried about the fire bomb. Okay, Charlie, you do see a bit of damage to the side pod of the car. It doesn't seem to be uh, too terminal, so you can keep running. You will lose about half a tenth a lap. Cop that, guys. After all, he's a few minutes and he's behind his own teammate. He watches it. Uh, what he needs is he, has, he did get past him on pure pink line. What do you think, though? Trying to get past the Josh. Three of the final two games now. They've got the DLS. Uh, Charlie's ERS has an even effective. And that can happen when you have a big chunk coming through in, uh, the champion of all, as Robert Kibbutzer would say. And. Oh, he's so close to the back of that admin. He's just not really finding any opportunity to get past. Jim finds himself getting a position ahead of the hard out now, but they are still very close on the track. Meanwhile, further up, wait, each has got the on Josh, he's gonna try and go down the inside. He's all over the place, and behind that, and as it, you can't even think of making the dive from something done. Great play to down the admin ahead, but the get out of there before it would get a little bit uh, ugly and he are now finding himself up in the fifth place as his teammate did get past that app, uh, that Nathan Sprung free card and closing in on the floor is oh, down the inside goes his AR on uh, David meanwhile Zaha getting ahead of uh, both Game Stevens and the Ferrari meanwhile on lap 16 the leaders change hands once again Uche leads just from home Still close together on uh, coming out of turns one and two. Charlie beside him and behind him in a bit of no man's land here. But oh, Sahas is going to have the whole field behind him if he doesn't step it up when it comes to pace. Ball with John. It's got DRS on that Mercedes ahead of him. 
one until it reaches the fifth pit where it can get past one is down to P11 as uh, James Bond has to do that for the battle with the spot three bars of Anna and the four of Anna he took the island from one the four city ahead and the third crash in the game lap 17 of 24 we've got seven more laps to go on this Canadian Grand Prix DJ leads Josh Stephen and Charlie Cole down to 25th place right now. It's not very good for race but Josh is leaving with Uche behind him then comes Ayan and Charlie and David then the other version of Jim then the only one GP car left in this race is Ruben but anyway coming into the chicane go on board with Uche let's see does he think of making a no take it no does not please pretty intelligent man because it really could have been pretty uh, catastrophic for him He's even dropping back when it comes to trying to get far. Uh, yeah, that's how bad this spray is. These guys, these days, they might be hyper-talented when it comes to actually racing cars. But when it comes to running, running behind the front of the this spray and the goal, it's just not easy. But four more laps to go in this Canadian Grand Prix. That would be our last for the rest of the race, because even if it did go dry, it would still be dry, you would think now it's a spread of it. Therefore, no, what are you? Uh, 
no uh, DRS will be around. Everyone's trying to take it, and I think Chimera might hold it. If he ain't, uh, Johnny 
now got the first line to finish in 10th. But unlike last season, I don't think we'll see a major race ending controversy that will give us a great virtual safety car at once. Wait, I need to go watch last year's game. Oh, last season's. I still got there. Well, here's your podium then, everyone. We've got drivers who've been on podiums before, race winners. Well, guy who almost had the right win. It just walked about. The three wins then from Joshua and Aon. Then comes Charlie, David, Jim, Ruben. The three went with the boss to stop the bar. Three then comes Anna and John. Your non score is worse. And Jacob Stevens, Gregory, Richard, Danny, Daniel, Callum, Simeon, Alex, Riley, Kieran, Jack, and your non finishing with Sarn, Tyne, and Pitme. In the driver standings, Armour and Stange at the top. Uchi still leads on 132 points. With Cut Jacob Stevens on 77. Then AR on 73. His teammate Jordan behind him on 61. Then Joshua on 55. Simeon on 48. Chimera on 44. Daniel on 39. Charlie on 32. Gregory on 31. Daniel on 24. Tied with Ruben. Then comes Arnav on 17 points. Kieran on 14 points. David on 10 points. Stack and Wiley tied on 8 points, then comes Zahar on 6 points, Callum on 5, Johnny on 3, Alex on 2, and Rishab on 0. In the Constructors standings, Mercedes AMP Patronus Motorsport still lead on 176 points, heading into Miami Grand Prix. Then comes Mauricio Ferrari on 134, and then Jenny BMW on 103, then Scudero Ferrari on 87, Bunny Graham Haas Ferrari on 42, New Running Guns on 39, then Jim McLaren Mercedes on 38, then Red Bull Honda on 37, Bonnie and Mercedes on 30 points, Abrams so, Grand Prix Mercedes on 19 points, and in last place, Fortune New Jaguar on 8 points. We'll see you next time for the Miami Grand Prix, a race that has not been run in quite a long time. But I can tell you this, it will be an exciting one. See you then.